I went to the steel yard to get some steel for some other projects, but I found this. This beautiful hunk of aluminum sheet. This is the perfect size to make gauge rod ends with. So I'm gonna slice a whole hunk of this. I gotta figure out exactly how wide. I'm gonna put a, a uh, slot in it and I'm going to drill holes in it. And I'm gonna slice each piece off and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be good, I hope. Here's hope. Keep your fingers crossed. What? Don't you color outside of the lines? Definitely gonna have to go a little bit wider than that. Now all I gotta do is start cutting it. So I'm gonna cut this off this line here. That's gonna be the line to cut it off from the rest of the the rest of the sheet. And then I'm gonna cut a groove right here, and then basically cut it off right here for each piece. Oh oh yes, I'm gonna drill a hole right here. So let me draw that in. Trying to make a mark here. Keep turning the wrong side. Make a mark there. And I'll make a mark. I'll center punch that. All right, well, I've got my layout. I guess the big question now is, how am I gonna cut it? I mean, the milling machine's in pieces. I know what I'll use. I admit this is a little sketchy, but uh, I think I can do this. If I feed this slow enough, the table saw speed, the cutting speed, the amount of teeth it has, is fast enough it will cut aluminum. And it'll cut aluminum of this thickness, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna set 50 thousandths of an inch depth of cut. That is pretty shallow. But I'm going to cut the slot first. Now the best thing to do at this point is eyeball it, I think. That should be just enough. Now I can start cutting. We are 60 thousandths deep, and that's close enough. Well, it might be kind of a wide slot, but I think we can make it work. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to make it all over again? I think it's worth the risk. Same kind of setup here. I eyeball it. Only this time, we make sure the bottom of the 
this line here lines up with this side of the blade. Perfect. I can cut some more. There we are, a set of gauge rods. I've got three of them, and I've got enough ends to make two more. I think that'll get me right about where I need to be right now. I still have to, I still have to cut some more uh, threaded rod for it. But uh, this gets me in the right direction. Next thing is to install them. Now we're out here on the main line. Pick the spot that's. Got some issues, like right here. Pull this rail back in. Gone a tad too far there. Let's 
bit too far again in the opposite direction. I'm trying to flip it to the yeah. side of the thing. Like that. That flip up like that. Screw these in. Yeah, I grabbed everything but a wrench. Yeah. Here, I'll hold it. Here, try it now. I just lightened up the track a little bit. Oh, don't look the track. Um, no, I'm just I'm pushing the gauge bar down just a little bit. Okay. I don't want to lift the track and mess up the alignment. But it's free. It's free spinning. Sides that side is somewhat secure. I've got to get that set. Yeah, the outside. Nope, don't go under there. Underneath. <laughs> we just fought to get that one underneath. Now this one wants to follow suit. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's gonna be tightened a little more, but that's yeah. We'll we'll that's get a wrench on it. If something ever happens that you want to get the gauge bar out. Well, thread locker, not retention compound. Okay, I think that's good for now. I do need to make the, uh, the threaded rod shorter. I can see that. I made it far too long. I think 10 inches would be better instead of instead of 12 or 13. But uh, that's what I had. I think I bought that from the store as a 12 inch uh, length. Right, so that looks like it's going to hold. I guess we'll find out in time and uh, we'll do more work to this as time progresses. Um, I just had somebody pull up so I'll be able to do the rest of these later. But in the meantime, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And uh, in the meantime, keep your tracking gauge. A hunk of quarter inch aluminum it is a beautiful thing, especially when it's exactly the right size to slice pieces off, cut them into little chunks put a notch in them, and then drill a hole in them. Is this is going to help me gauge bars. Gauge rods. Yeah, gauge rods, not bars.